As a quick reminder, as of August 31st, Google will have completed their core web vitals update. So if this is something you have not been paying attention to or checking to see if your website is going to pass, then you definitely want to do so right now. Now, in a previous video, I covered what core web vitals actually is, how to check your website to make sure that it passes and what to do if it doesn't. So if you missed that, check the link down in the description below definitely check that out. I hit it really quickly so you know exactly what to do to improve your website. Today, I do want to not only give you the reminder, but I want to show you the page experience report inside of Google Search Console, which is where you can find out just how well your site is performing. And I'm going to show you some of the changes and just how to read some of this information so you can make sure your site passes. As a quick refresher, Core Web Vitals is all about page experience. This is going to specifically test the speed, the responsiveness, and the stability of how your web pages load, all in delivering a positive experience for the visitors. So previously, we went into the Core Web Vitals section of our Google Search Console account, and we broke that down. So if that's something you want to dive into, definitely go back and check that out. Today, we are specifically looking at the page experience report, which is very important when it comes to Core Web Vitals as well, and gives us an overview of how our page experience is. As we can see with this site, this site has no URLs with a good page experience, which is definitely going to be a problem for ranking but it's also no good for our users as well. So this chart right here is going to tell us how many of our URLs are actually passing and how many of these are actually failing. So that's going to give us an idea of how much work we really have left to do here. Now, when we scroll down here, we have three page experience signals, core web vitals, mobile usability, and HTTPS. Now, Core Web Vitals, as we can see here, we have 361 failing URLs. So we want to receive a rating of good, which is going to appear in green, in order to qualify for a good page experience status. Now, if you go out, you make some of the changes that you'll see here, and then you come back right away, you may not see any changes to your account as this can take a few days to update. But if we go into our Core Web Vitals section here, we can see it jumps us down here. And this this gives us some more specific information. We have the 361 issues here. We can see that we have no pages that are doing okay. They can definitely use some improvement, but zero in the green, which would be the good ones, which is what we want to get to. So we need to bump this number up over into the good section. But when we scroll down, this gives us the reason why. The ones appearing in red as failing or poor. The LCP issue, which again, I explain what that is in the Core Web Vitals video there. These take longer than four seconds to load on mobile. That's a problem we got to fix. And this one also had an LCP issue that took longer than two and a half seconds on mobile. So it looks like our page speed actually dropped on mobile. So there may have been a site update or something that happened to the site here, and we need to go back and figure out what that is. But hopping back over to the page experience score, we have two other signals here, mobile usability. So this looks at, of course, mobile usability errors, and we want to also have a good rating here. Luckily for us, we have no issues detected on mobile. We just know that we need to increase the page speed here. And then lastly, we're looking at HTTPS, and this doesn't have a URL level HTTPS data for your site. This is only looking at the website as a whole. So if you have too many HTTP URLs, then you're going to see a warning in this section, but we are also good here. So definitely make sure that you take the time to come into your Google Search Console account. Down here on the left-hand side, click on that page experience section and check out your signals here to make sure that you are ready for when this update is fully complete. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more just like this, and I'll catch you next time.